I am Michael Nelson and these are my German jets made in Lego. Um, so we'll start over here. This is uh, the Arado 234, uh, the world's first jet bomber. Uh, Germany was uh, well known for being ahead of the Allies in their research and development. So they were well ahead of us on uh, developing jet-powered aircraft. And this was the first jet bomber. Uh, couldn't carry a lot of bombs, but it was faster than any other Allied plane, so it didn't need any machine guns or defensive armament because no one could catch it. Um, unfortunately for the uh, Germans, and fortunately for the Allies, it came a little bit too late in the war to actually have a material impact on the outcome. And it's, uh, the early jets were underpowered, so there's some rocket pods on there that they would use to help accelerate it and get it to take off, and then those would parachute back to Earth. And then moving over, we've got the uh, Messerschmitt 262, the world's first uh, jet fighter. Um, so these were, had a little bit more impact than the bomber did. Um, there were some delays because Hitler wanted to change how they were used uh, as a fighter bomber rather than just a fighter. But uh, when these first came up against the Allies, um, it was a little scary for the Allied pilots. They had no idea this plane with no engines that can go way faster. Um, but eventually they were able to figure out some tactics to help them uh, at least give them better odds. But um, it's a very unique aircraft, um, very ahead of its time, and potentially could have changed, uh, could have lengthened the war if they had had them in greater numbers earlier. Do you know how many of these were made? Was it uh, roughly off the top of your head? Do you know how many they, they before the war ended? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I'd say it was probably maybe in the hundreds. So. Um, definitely more of these than of the bomber. Okay, and then what do we have here? Uh, so that's the same one, just uh, uh, that's the more, again, that's the dark gray variant that there was more parts for um, before I could do the camo. And then uh, late in the war, like I mentioned, the, the Allies cut off uh, the oil supply. So jet engines were thirsty for oil. So what they ended up doing was uh, using this little tractor, which is a Brigmania tractor, um, to tow their aircraft out to the runway rather than have them taxi and use fuel. Uh, it was such a, uh, it was so scarce at that point that they needed to save every bit they had. So they would tow it out to the runway and then start the engines. Okay, that's really interesting. I, I love you've got so many really cool World War II planes on display here. What kind of inspires you to do that? What, 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 where did your interest in World War II come from for these bottles? Um, well, as a kid, I mean, I was always fascinated by aviation, and obviously kids love war, so I loved uh, army men and, you know, playing with models. Um, but I never had the patience to uh, assemble or paint uh, a plastic airplane model. Um, it always turned out not looking like what was on the box. So um, I got frustrated and, you know, never really got into that. But then uh, once I grew up and got a job and some free time, started playing around on LEGO Digital Designer and uh, kind of came out of my dark ages there and started building again. And then from there, I now just have a running list of everything that I want to build. So. Yeah, I'm sure, that, I'm sure there's a long list there. What, what do you have in mind for the future? Any, any more planes or other types of uh, military history builds? Uh, yeah, mostly World War II, so for sure a B-17 and um, then probably a Catalina and maybe some dive bombers. So maybe I'll branch out into ships, but all depends on the budget and the space. Exactly. And, and when you kind of got back into Lego building when you were older, were there any particular builders that inspired you that had done some of the similar work that you were interested in? Um, yeah, I mean, I like the look of, uh, you can see a couple of these are uh, like this Brickmania ambulance and the uh, uh, aircraft tractor there, Brickmania. Um, I like the idea that um, there's someone out there making kits that LEGO wouldn't make. Uh, and then I like that style as well. It definitely looks like something LEGO could have designed. Um, so I'd say uh, Dan Siskin definitely was uh, an inspiration. And then there's a bunch of really good Flickr builders out there, too many to name. Um, but Nate Flood has some good aircraft and he's got, everything he does is amazing. Um, and then I, I, the, all of their names escaped me, but Flickr was a huge inspiration. A lot of good people out there that build World War II models. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, I appreciate you taking us through these builds. They're really impressive. Thank you. Yep, thank you.